In the upcoming days, a permanent TC will be revealed in tonight's Chicago Fire episode. Chief Bowden was a candidate for the job. Chief Robinson was a contender as well. One of them attempted to destroy the other's chances, which was their difference. Robinson has shown such brutality that she is more negatively impacted by him than positively. She set up a spy at Bowden's fire station. The spy was discovered with ease. Robinson sacked him instead of allowing him to further hurt her chances since he was likewise a little too squeamish about people who were in danger. After that, the guy went to Bowden. Robinson will stop at nothing to get through the ranks, he told Firehouse 51. And what would she do to an adversary if she could so readily turn against an alley? Bowden wasn't in the city when the incident took place. He was assisting James with housework. Now that he was back in Chicago, he was informed of all the events involving Robinson. Severide can oversee the firehouse in his absence. He is well aware of that. Bowden was going to require a replacement if he got promoted. Severide performed admirably. He added that Herman provided assistance with the peer counseling. Bowden received assistance from both men. Bowden thinks well of them. Afterwards, he and the other 51 people were called to a work accident. A few construction workers were hanging from the side elements that raises them into the air. Whatever it was had, well, lost its cool. Because the ropes couldn't support the entire weight, the men were hanging. Four of the five men were rescued with assistance from Firehouse 51. The fifth man was so terrified that he was unable to ask for assistance, even though it was there in front of him. He stumbled. Unfortunately, he bumped into a partially deflated bag and broke his head. To the hospital, he was hurried. It was uncertain if he would survive. Violet found the decision difficult. Carver and Violet continued to share a bed. They both decided against dating. Or at least, they were until Carver started to detest their circumstances. They were just going to keep things informal.